very beautifully krishna does this job after talking so much teaching so much and giving vishwarupa darshana even after all that this fellow this arjuna <laughs> no really <laughs> no i i have my own doubt whether really arjuna was that dull or krishna is using arjuna as a friend and talking because a king cannot be that dull and maybe krishna is using arjuna and uh, talking to the worst possible student <laughs> in future because see krishna is jagat guru he has to consider the weakest link and give the lesson for the weakest student maybe that is the possible because i cannot imagine arjuna being so dull because this fellow is asking the same question again and again and anyhow the last chapter he says beautifully finally very just before uh, i think i don't know whether 12th or 13th chapter he gives one assurance that um, ananyas chintayanto mamye jana baryu vasade desham nityabiyuktanam yogakshemam vahamyakam he says very beautifully forget about everything else just relax in me i'll take care of your whatever you need and whatever your comforts yoga and shema yoga shema means bringing what you need and see that it stays with you not only i'll give i'll ensure it stays with you you see it's a very strong word please understand krishna's words has no expiry date there is no expiry date you can't say the word has expired in 2000 now we are in 2010 the word has no meaning no it has no expiry date first thing let me tell you from my own experience understand let me tell you from my experience one small incident i'm honestly telling you the truth as it happened little mystical but if you can if you have that feeling connection catch the truth it's a blessing for you if you don't have it's okay forget about it don't bother if you leave it it's okay nothing wrong but what i am saying is the honest truth as it is i was staying in haridwar at that time in my wandering hmm suddenly i had a diarrhea diarrhea means not just loose motion bleeding and literally at least 20 to 30 times per day literally and i had a high fever also high fever and diarrhea i am a alone sadhu i was staying in a small kind of a under bridge on the banks of ganga one canal of ganga hmm? in ardwar ganga is five six canals big canals and i was staying in one canal and i thought i think i am going to die i am going to die because i was not even able to go to hospital and i was not even able to ask somebody to help i decided anyhow i think i am going to die and there was a small shivalinga i thought i'll die by putting my head on that uh, shivalinga because i was not able to move here and there anywhere i dragged myself and put my head on the shivalinga i don't know uh, what happened i slept and suddenly one young sadhu came he came with food and medicine he came and he woke me up and said baba i brought food for you maybe around 35 that age in limit only i brought food for you he gave the food and medicine i said i don't know you i think you are searching for somebody else you are mistaking me he said no 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 i am coming i came in search of you only i wanted to give you food he gave me food and he gave some herbal medicines i took i felt little better and he came continuously for 3 days bringing food 
and uh, gave me some medicine also one thing was very attracting was this sadhu was seemed to be very educated he had a uh, stoned pen i f- i thought it's diamond diamond stoned pen pen in his packet and usually in north sadhus are not educated people sadhus are 99% of sadhus are uneducated they are not, not educated in the formal way our organization is the dhyanapitam is the only organization where 100% sadhus are educated <laughs> not for pride i am saying that usually the sadhus are not educated i i was surprised it was attracting my attention but uh, anyhow i just left it i asked him you are from where he told me he is from nearby one ashram and in even in the plate in which he brought that ashram name was engraved you know in india we have the habit of engraving that name in the plate so that it won't be stolen <laughs> i saw that in the plate also that name was engraved in name of that ashram and anyhow after 3 4 days i became all right he stopped coming it took some 20 days for me to start walking normally uh, in and around so when i was able to walk first thing i decided i'll go to see him to thank him he has already told from which ashram he is so i went there in search it is a small place near on the banks of another one canal of ganga same on the banks of ganga another one canal i went there he told me his name was shankar baba shankar maharaj maharaj means sanyas maharaj means a sanyasi and i went there and there was a old sadhu sitting counting his beads it was a noon time so he kept uh, prasad the nevedya for that uh, in the small there was a small temple in nevedya and he was sitting outside and counting his beads i asked him i wanted to meet this shankar maharaj looked up and said shankar maharaj no no there is nobody here i told him no there is a young sadhu he came and met me he was taking care of me and he gave me food and all and i wanted to see him he said no 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 there is no uh, young sadhu here in this ashram there is only one sadhu that is me nobody else no young sadhu i asked him no he gave this ashram address this is the place i know this is the place tell me i want to meet he got irritated and he, you know these old sadhus when they get irritated how they shout he shouted at me and said hey there is no shankar baba here i am telling you there is only one shankar baba if you want to see him it's in the temple show he just showed me his hand that deity was called as shankar maharaj when i looked up please understand i'm telling you the honest truth i saw the same pen on the deity we can always doubt think reason It was same plate. The plate, because three to four days I ate, ate in the plate. I know the all the um, dents in that plate. I know the dent and the same name, same name, and the same plate. I asked that sadhu, did who gave the pen to you? He again got irritated. somebody brought it and put it in the temple i put it on that shiva and shankar baba if you want you take it and go i don't know reading and writing i said i am not asking for that pen you have any idea anybody took that pen and no 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 nobody took that pen 
Only somebody, I think, he said. Nobody took that pen. It's there. Somebody brought it and put it. I think it's there on the deity. And if you want, you take it and go. Then he said. He is sitting. He was sitting and counting beads. And he said, he, he put the prasad for the deity, and he is sitting and counting fu, counting the beads. He is telling. He only to, he told. Few days before, continuously the rat came and ate the food during the nevedya time. So that is why I am sitting here now for security. <laughs> Three four days every day I saw the rat was eating the food. That is why now I am sitting. As security. I know which rat he ate. <laughs> See this. This incident can create thousands of questions. I had. I had thousands of questions. I am not the guy who directly believes. Or I, I thought. Why should Shiva even needs a plate from an ashram? He doesn't need. He doesn't need to appear with a pen. He doesn't need to have a plate. If he wants to give the food, he can directly appear and give food and disappear. Over. I had my own thousands of questions. One thing I know for sure. He just wanted to teach me Yoga Kshemam Vaham Yaham. He gave me that understanding. <laughs> Purposely left few evidences. And let me be honest, I do not even know still now whether really Shiva gave me food or some sadhu came and gave me food. I do not know. But one thing I am sure, if Shiva himself gives me food, what love and trust and devotion he would have created in me, he created that in me. Because of that, I know he gave the food. What would I be in the prasada? You see, if he has come and given the food, I would have had a deep trust on that statement, Yoga Kshemam Vaham Yaham. I would have had the deep trust, the divine is taking care. He gave me that trust through this incident. That's all. That trust has happened in me through this incident. I do not know. Still, I, uh, let me be very clear. I do not know whether Shiva gave me food or not. Or some sadhu came and gave me food or not. I do not know. The evidences are proving the more possibility of some extraordinary interference, intervention. That's all I am able to say. I do not know further that, more than this. But somehow that strong, unshakable vidarka that I am looked after as entered into my system has entered into my being understand I do not know whether you will have this kind of some extraordinary events in your life to make you understand to make you experience you are taken care But as I experience the truth, I have the right to tell you, you will also be protected. Understand? I am not saying to tell this, because I am telling this word, I am an extraordinary powerful being or not. I am extraordinary person or I am an avatar, a purusha, I am a mystic. No, I am not claiming all those words. I am not saying all those things. I can say one thing honestly. Because I have been taken care. I have the right to say you will also be taken care. I have the courage to say you will also be taken care. Just because of this one incident. Divine does not need to give me that confidence. If there is no use through me. If he is given me that confidence means he is giving clear statement to whole world. 
to everybody he is giving a clear statement please understand one more thing any energy power lands with intelligence please understand any energy or power lands with intelligence when a master happens he expresses not only intelligence he expresses power also because power and intelligence comes together whoever follows it is intelligence are protected by that power it's a law if you follow geeta krishna's power is bound to protect you it is not just intelligence it is just it is a energy also same way understand honestly very clearly i am telling you drop all the fears have courage take the responsibility of unclutching all you need is unclutch you will see you are protected you will see you are protected and don't bother you may think no no i'll be protected in future but what about all the mess i created in the past any initiation any truth when you start living not only looks your future it spreads into your past also so i am uttering these words i am uttering these words clear understanding and responsibility knowing the meaning of the words i am uttering i am uttering please understand now the words i am saying there is no hidden meaning behind what you understand that is the meaning what you understand is the meaning don't think oh i think it's technically not right no there is no fine print there is no fine print i am telling you very clearly all you need is just take the responsibility of unclutching even the mess you created in the past even that chaos will disappear and you are taken care so understand the power of these words just take the responsibility of unclutching nothing else have courage and unclutch you will see you are taken care as i myself experienced what i am talking as the inheritor of all this great knowledge and tradition and values as i represent this great vedic tradition the living enlightened masters tradition i tell you very clearly from my experience an authenticity all you need is just unclutch you are protected and blessed let you have this courage energy unclutch and radiate enlightenment let you all be blessed and experience truth let you all achieve and radiate the eternal bliss understand simple unclutching a courage to live unclutched life that's all nothing else you will see your whole life becomes miracle you will see the net is there you will never fall even if you have the fear of falling the net of abaya is there you have heard this word from a person who experienced you have heard it just because you are here and you heard this word from me i am responsible for what i said i am responsible for what i said understand with this responsibility i am uttering this word just because you are you have heard this word it is truth for you it will express itself as truth in your life because i have seen it is truth in my life and whoever has heard this truth it has become truth in their life also with this you will be 
protected and taken care just have the courage of living an unclutched life let you have courage and confidence to unclutch and live let you achieve and radiate jeevan mukti living enlightenment let you achieve and radiate the eternal bliss nityananda thank you